Well, good morning. Moving some rail today. We got seven sticks of rail we got to take up. We're going to change out in various places. Oh my, be careful. That wasn't very smooth. Brandon's a fairly decent operator. Got a little rough with that one. <laughs> How that happens. Oh, that'll mess you up, won't it? So these levers were backwards. Got him all messed up there. I can understand that. You get the, that excavator of mine I got set for John Deere's shift pattern. And I get in a machine and set for a cat shift pattern. I just can't, everything's opposite. It's like you just can't, you just can't run it. <laughs> Nice brisk morning here, 30 degrees for a mile post eight. Today we've got three or four uh, 78 foot sticks of rail we're going to have to take up there. Try to get some of these uh, rail replaced here before it gets real cold. Oh, it sure is nice to have a grapple truck out here moving that rail. My goodness. If uh, I, I can move rail, but I don't have a swivel on that, and you got a rail clamps to uh, rail tongs. I'm sorry to pick it up. You got to get exactly in the center and put a rope on the end to guide it into there, and it, it's it just he'll he'll have seven pieces loaded to be and on our way up before I get one piece loaded. So. Caught a lot of rail with my truck over the years. But these are the way to go. And we don't have a whole lot of track time this uh, today, so get this, uh, they're running coal really good. I gotta hold the train up down here. He just dumped and uh, gonna switch some cars around and stuff. So we got a little bit of time here this morning. Get this, uh, This is all new rail over here, new sticks. Rolled in 2017. 132 rail. Okay, that's six, and I'd just be putting one on. Mine. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to video the uh, set the 78 footers. Got the rail carts uh, behind him, and I'm probably going to have to use my boom truck to help him uh, help him load the uh, 
the rail cart, so I won't be able to make a video when we do that. I don't, I don't think so. So. And that's something I can't do with my truck either. All my, all the heads got to be up so I can get the uh, rail tongs on there, on the rail, picking it back up. Okay, that's it. Good job. Made a big difference when he changed the shift pattern. <laughs> we'll be back with some more good stuff. Well, we're unloading our first piece of this first stick of rail here. I'm hanging off the door of my uh, truck here, escorting today, showing him where the uh, rail goes. We're right above Bridge Three, west of Bridge Three. This is easy. That's it. Show's over. Nice. Well, we're on curve 19 here. We've got two sticks to drop off. About mile post four point three between four point two and four three. Get all this rail changed before uh, real cold weather gets gets set in. Nice. Okay, we're gonna move ahead here. I gotta get up off out of his way. Sorry, fell off the ballast there. He's got a remote. He can run that truck remote back there from uh, up there where he's sitting. That's nice. Those old trucks we used, uh, they didn't have the remotes. and uh, I'd always have to drive the truck spotting rail or, or spotting ties or picking up ties and stuff. Those old trucks didn't have air conditioning either and it was hot in the summer. And your knees always hurt at the end of the day from all that clutching, especially when you're uh, spreading ties. All right, we're moving along. Cool. Here at curve 14. Well, all this was cribbed out. Pipeline was down here too. Sweet. All right. That's it. <laughs> Good. Okay, I think this is going to end this video, and I thank you very much for watching. I hope if you're a uh, first time viewer, you'll like what you saw and subscribe. And if you do, please hit, be sure you hit the notification bell. So I thank you all very much for watching and hope you've enjoyed it. We have a Sperry rail right up here. 
why we're going to change it. We put joint bars on it when the uh, Sperry truck found a defect in there. So that's why we're going to change this. But there is, like I said, there is joint bars on it. But it hasn't cracked yet. But we'll... winter time's coming. You never know what's going to happen. Get these uh, Sperry defects uh, taken care of before it gets real cold. Okay. Thanks again. And have a really good day. unload his rail cart here and uh, come back with another rail cart we've got three 78 foot sticks of rail down there we got to move up track so we'll uh, hook the two rail carts together and haul the rail up there that way over for a bit.